Hello, my name is Dr. Sandy Curtin. I am a clinical assistant professor of medicine and nurse practitioner at the University of Arizona Cancer Center in Tucson, Arizona. I am presenting on behalf of my colleagues, Dr. Salman, Tracy Iraka, Dr. O'Connell, and Dr. Bahar, our work on improving understanding of MDS using an animated patient's guide to benefit patient health outcomes. We know that MDS represents a heterogeneous group of myeloid malignancies, and the clinical understanding of these diseases is rather complex. So it's no surprise that from a patient and caregiver perspective, there are continued gaps in knowledge, particularly where disease risk, prognosis, and treatment options are concerned. Among 127 patient and caregivers living with MDS, in a recent online social media survey, there was a general lack of information about MDS, insufficient knowledge regarding treatment options, and most were unable to make fully informed decisions about their care. So efforts to improve patient and caregiver understanding of MDS, including treatment options, is critical to individualizing treatment and engaging the patient and caregiver in shared decision making. We know that MDS patients use multimedia and online resources to seek disease information, and we have found that on the MDS Foundation website through various projects. So the MDS Foundation introduced an online animated visual format educational program in July of 2018 aimed at improving patient and caregiver knowledge. Evaluation of this project included determining changes in patient knowledge and intent to implement changes in behavior, and these will be described as we go through our data. The Animated Patient's Guide to MDS is a multimedia educational initiative, and as mentioned, this was launched globally in July of 2018. Recruitment was conducted via search engine marketing, social media promotions, and email campaigns to MDS patients, caregivers, and oncology provider audiences. Data were collected from July of 2018 to July of 2020 from the APG website. Data elements included total APG video views and the duration of each of those views, most frequently viewed MDS animations and MDS expert videos on the website and on YouTube, and responses to outcome-based questions that were embedded in the APG to measure knowledge and intent to implement changes. Additionally, the number of unique visitors and repeat visitors were analyzed. So, Audience reach and demographics included 151,231 total views to the UNMDS patient program. This represented almost 60,000 unique visitors. The majority of these visitors were from the United States, so 81%, and this included patients, caregivers, and family members, and healthcare providers. That was a total of 47,747 unique visitors. You can see that the other 19% of the visitors to this site represented greater than 50 countries. In measuring pre and post website knowledge level, you can see the shift from low and medium, the majority being low and medium, to the majority representing a high knowledge level relative to MDS. When we look at the specifics of knowledge gained, and importantly, these are the percentages represent the number, uh, the percentage of the number of responses to each question, you can see that there was new information about MDS, uh, general information about MDS, the diagnosis of MDS, treatment options for MDS, and importantly, learned about new information related to bone marrow transplant in MDS 
among the responses. And then we look at commitment to change. And so we understand that the intent to make a change is key to behavioral modification and action. And so we see that there was a commitment to use new information learned to better self-manage MDS, a, a commitment to discuss information with their doctor, a plan to discuss MDS treatment options with their doctor, and an intention to ask their doctor about how to take part in healthcare decisions, so implying shared decision making. So in conclusion, the multimedia education, including a visual animated format of Animated Patient's Guide to MDS, which you can see the website here, was tailored to the needs of MDS patients and has the potential to provide effective learning. Our survey among learner audiences indicates increased knowledge and improved engagement in shared decision making. Ongoing monitoring and further analysis of this multimedia educational resource for MDS patients will be carried out to continue to understand how tailored education provided via this format impacts and benefits patient health outcomes in MDS patients. These are our references. And these are our disclosures. Thank you for joining us for this presentation.